Hey YouTube, welcome back to Homestead in a Box. My name is Leah and I'm super thankful to have you here. Today I'm going to be talking about rabbit tea. Uh, not the kind that you want to drink, but the kind that I'm going to be using on our gardens and plants and things like that. Uh, when we first got meat rabbits, um, I was excited about them, but the more I got into reading about them and I realized like, oh, they're just not going to be a source of meat here. like their poop is going to be a source of gold here, you know. Uh, rabbit manure you can actually put directly on your garden and it not it doesn't have to have a set time. Um, to where chicken manure, other animal manures, they have to sit for so long. Rabbit manure, you do not need that for. And so it is like a gardener's like dream come true, really. And I happen to have a lot of rabbits. So in order for me to utilize this rabbit manure the best way possible, I have found uh, several different things for rabbit compost tea. Um, and so I'm gonna give it a shot and we're gonna see how well it works on our gardens. Uh, I have some seedlings I wanna hit with it um, and just some plants, my strawberries, I would like to hit with it. Uh, and also I need to feed the worms and I feed the worms rabbit manure. So. Let's go do that. I'm going to rake some up, get it all together, and then we are going to make rabbit compost tea. So as you see, it's not that hard to just rake it up. Uh, when my husband Tree, he has like several different ideas of how we're going to start catching the manure and the urine. That way we don't have to come out here and rake it up. Uh, it's just really a matter of deciding which one is going to work best for us and starting to implement that. Um, under the girls you see there with some shavings and some straw. Uh, that stuff doesn't bother me to put off into the buckets for the tea because it is still compost. It's compostable. So I'm not going to sit and filter all of that out. Uh, I'm actually going to be adding some coffee grinds, some eggshells, and um, the I was pruning tomato seedlings today, so those leaves and stuff like that I'm going to be adding in this as well. Uh, the boys they don't have that much because we had barrels under them catching some of their uh, some of their poop. I just need to drill some more holes in the bottom of those barrels so more of the urine flows through. Again, though, uh, we are going to be implementing a completely different system here before too long on catching urine and rabbit manure because it is such a huge asset. Um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know right now, like fertilizers and soils and all that stuff is really expensive. Uh, the prices here in our location have doubled from last year as far as soil cost. So this is why I'm doing this, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's $30 a scoop for just a scoop of compost uh, here locally to us. And I just think that is insane whenever I have, don't get me wrong, I am I do have to buy some of that, you know. But whenever I have all of these rabbits here, it just seems silly to not try to maybe find an alternative way and use what I have. But still, I, <laughs> for the record, I am buying that compost at $30 a scoop so don't don't think that you don't have to because I still am um, I'm just trying to find a way to maybe not have to buy as much compost and just amending the soil as the season goes throughout but that is a whole nother YouTube video in itself and uh, we'll touch on that I'm sure but but back to the composting tea uh, so I do have all the manure gathered up I'm gonna start filling these five gallon uh, Lowe's buckets and uh, I'm going to fill those up with water. Uh, but I am going to run it through this mesh wire here because this is a big bucket. So, and it may seem silly, but to me, I'm okay with it. Okay, so I got a bucket here. I'm going to divide this bucket between this one and this one. So I'm just going to pour half of what's in here into here. Seems like a pretty equal ratio. I don't know if y'all can see this, but 
Maynard, get back. Maynard's favorite snack is rabbit manure. And I've been collecting uh, coffee grinds and uh, eggshells for a while in this. And so I'm just going to pour half of it in this. And then half of it in this one. And then I'm going to fill these with water. We are going to let these sit for uh, roughly three days. All right, so I have my rabbit compost tea here. It has been brewing for three days. Um, I've come out and I've stirred it at least once a day and it totally reeks. But um, I'm gonna show you how I am going to kind of filter it over and then use it on my plants. So, so let's filter this. a gallon. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very stinky job. However, it's utilizing every single thing that I have here on my homestead and preventing me from having to go out and buy fertilizers and things like that to feed my plants. Uh, a lot of the things we're growing are in containers, so they have to be on a pretty good feeding schedule uh, every two to three weeks. and Having this at our disposal prevents us from having to spend money elsewhere. So let's go feed some plants. All right, so I'm going to start feeding uh, these potatoes. They're doing really good. I thought I was going to actually lose some of these potatoes because uh, of the frost that we recently had, but I didn't. Um, in fact, the ones that did get kind of frost, the leaves got frostbite on them uh they're still doing great so i'm just gonna pour about a quarter of a gallon into each of these maybe a little more all right so i'm gonna feed all of these peas and then just kind of show you how much they've grown um, we are in the process of getting the chickens cooped up uh, that way they are not going to be eating my garden because as soon as if they were to come see these knock on wood they'd be gone um, but they are starting to come up and so I'm just gonna give them a little bit of food uh, I'm kind of a little nervous about feeding them because peas don't really like um, wet soil and it's been raining here um, however I think that it's gonna be okay so I'm gonna go ahead and feed them <laughs> These bags here are more of a bush variety of peas, so they don't really need a trellis. I'll probably come in and add a trellis to them uh, just to kind of give them a little bit of staking. Uh, I'm also going to be starting more peas because uh, peas you can succession sow. Uh, that way you can continue picking them. Now, they do not like super hot temperatures. However, I'm going, I am going to come in and just plant another row of peas in these same bags uh, that these are in. Peas you can plant close together also. And really anything, the spacing recommendations, um, it all just kind of varies on how much food you have in your soil. You can plant things close together and as long as there's enough nutrients in your soil and they're not fighting for it, then you will be okay. So I am gonna come in back in these same bags and just add more pea plants. All right, friends, thanks so much for coming, hanging out with me today. Uh, that is how I make compost tea. It's super easy to make. If you know anybody that has rabbits, uh, get with them because they'll more than likely sell you some uh, rabbit manure. Uh, some people even give it away. Uh, a lot of people sell it. It's an extra income if you have rabbits. Uh, you can actually sell. Uh, it's a great fertilizer for your garden. Um, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Thank you so much again for coming hang out with me. I am sending you guys good vibes as always, and I will see you next week.